Welcome back, we're here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, 8th of July, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos and all my trades and portfolio are available on the link down below. So let's start by looking at WTI oil. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly. Not a surprise, as, as we have fallen all, fallen all the way from $123 per barrel all the way down towards $95 per barrel. So rallies like this, they will occur and uh, well, of course the market can't drop uh, indefinitely. We do have a flag pattern here and this basically suggests that we should or we basically are very close to this uh, this drop. but. We could also be seeing another flag pattern here and then another drop. That could be what we are witnessing. But if you look at the Fibonacci retracements for for this, we can also see that we are about just about the 23.6. That's $102. Uh, 38.2 is at $106 and the 50 is at $109. And that is probably as far as this will go as the uh, 50 moving average is moving in this direction. So we could see this rally up towards the 50 and then get break, break down. 200 moving average will uh, of course be a significant barrier and breaking below that, well, that opens the door to significantly lower levels. Um, Citigroup, I think it was uh, without, or uh, Barclays, without basically said that they expect um, oil to be at around $65 a barrel at the end of the year. And if uh, economic uh, turnarounds basically are as dire as they are predicting, then that is quite plausible. If you look at technical uh, MACD, uh, we can see that it's still bearish. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. And there's a lot of room to the upside. If you manage to take around out this area, then there is basically nothing that prevents us to going towards um, $123 a barrel. So let's look at uh, natural gas. And of course, natural gas has uh, rallied significantly. Also here, we went from 9.6 all the way down towards uh, 5.3. And that's uh, basically a massive drop. It has almost, almost, almost lost 50% of its value. Uh, in the last uh, two three weeks so so uh, a rally like this even though it's significant it was kind of expected but we stopped right at 23.6 at the Fibonacci tracement at 6.38 and then pull back if we also have the 20 simple moving average moving in this direction 50 moving here if we manage to break above here and all these uh, basically this area here then we may go towards uh, 30, uh, 38.2 at seven dollars uh, but that is kind of stretching it i would expect the 20 simple moving average being uh, where we'll hit basically a brick wall uh, breaking below the 200 moving average that opens the door to uh, around five dollars four dollars which is basically the, the lows here if we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, but it's about to cross the signal line. Stochastic is becoming very bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So, continuation to the upside, side, that, is, that is possible, but I expect this to run out of momentum around this area and then drop to the downside. So, hope you found this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, bell button to see our news videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.